Crescent Moon Grass up by one. Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Demon Souls. So in the last episode we started exploring more in that uh, Hope prison and realized that really I'm hopeless. And so I need to come here. I need to get a few souls, but more importantly, I need to get some more uh, healing items. Because I've used up most of my basic healing items, and they're expensive. Expensive, and they're easier just to get it from a drop rate. As you can see, that like the first enemy I killed got me a uh, crest moon grass, which would have cost me 150 souls if I had bought it from the store. Which, as I said last episode, not really willing to spend that much on them, considering the guys in this area only give me like six souls per kill. I'd rather just like go on the drop rate. Head over here and kill these guys. I remember this area. It's, it's good memories. I remember starting this game. Episode 2, good times. Knock you down there and kill you. Uh, I think I'm going to head back this way though. There's no reason to go all the way over there. When I can instead... Well, A, just in case I were to need it. Let's see. Take the throwing knives off. Instead, put crescent moon grass. Because let's be honest, crescent moon grass is it, it, crescent moon grass is something that you always want to have on. You. Yes, I got it. I'm on fire. And now I'm on freaking fire. Something else I forgot. If you put on the ring of flame resistance, then you don't really have to worry about fire. First area of the game is all really f every big enemy is fire based, besides that one giant tower knight and the guy who's weak to fire, Phalanx. I like all these enemies right before you fight Phalanx, they're all fire based so you can actually get fire drops like Turpentine, which I didn't realize. Apparently Turpin apparently Phalanx is actually weak to fire when my friends confirmed it for me he said yeah you're supposed to use fire and I went oh oh weaknesses right video games those happen all right notice recently I'm noticing more graphical pop-ups I'm wondering why Full heal. Actually, now that I think about it, I might be able to take on that one red guy. I wonder if I can. I'm gonna risk it. <laughs> I'm feeling lucky. Considering the fact that these guys can't do crap against me, one thing I should probably do, which you know I'm not, sm I wasn't smart enough to do up to this point, was upgrade my shield. So they, you know, they can't really break my guard anymore. Well, you're both dead. Got a soldier's lotus, which is useful in the next area I'm going to. Yeah, I still can't kill him. That sucks because I lost 1,700, well, 1,800 souls, but I've learned that I can take his hits now, which means if I had had my shield up, I might have been able to do things. So, guys, I'll be right back. I'm just going to do a little speed because part of this episode is just going to be random speed-ups and things. I'm going to be grinding a little bit, and honestly, you guys don't need to see all that. 
So speed up. Speed up, speed up, everybody do your share. Speed up, speed up. Ba -da -da -ba -da -ba -ba. I'm speeding away. I'm having a heyday. I'm eating old men. And he is of the dead. Full moon grass by three and two thousand souls. <laughs> it appears to be locked. So, I am powerful. I am so much more powerful than when I first started this. Not only is my sword so much more powerful, but I can go in and I can take these hits now. I've increased my, strength, uh, my defense enough. This is really cool. I cannot wait to see how much more powerful than some other enemies I am. And if I were to come back here, I'd, it'd be a really easy way to get 2,000 souls for free. I'm sure there are better ways to get souls, though. Then again, if I did that 25 times, then I'd already have enough for that ring. So I could really, I could very well do that. Oh well. For now, I'm going to be going around killing some more enemies. Just a moment, guys. Just like that, my kite shield is upgraded. If I upgrade it again, let's see. I'll have even higher guard break reduction and more physical attack. Though if I upgrade my sword again, well, plus 11 to my attack. Well, I guess not. I guess it'd be more of plus eight. Sweet. Not that I have the required hard stone or You'll souls. So since I just did all that, I'm wondering how strong I am. I'm questioning myself. Am I strong enough to do what I want to do? Probably not. But we're doing it. We're going back into the archstone of the small king. And we're going to try to take on the bridges and see if we can go to the second area of this archstone. I know I said this to be a mostly grinding episode, but I skipped most of the grinding. Because honestly, nothing interesting happened besides going against that red guy. And honestly, the red guy was fun. And it made me feel powerful. But, all the same, I do want to see how powerful I really am. Because I upgraded myself. I'm, I have more luck. I have more vitality. I have more uh, endurance. Or was it dexterity? I think it was endurance. Oh, come on. Gotcha. Ow. Ooh, almost got me. Closest one right there. Alright. Examine course, large sharp stone shard. I'm, I don't know why I'm having trouble saying that every time I try to. And I even got a shard of uh, sharp stone, which is nice, but not like I need it, right? I have a lot of them at this point. I kind of wish I had something to use them on because, you know, I don't really use any weapons. Ooh, actually, can you upgrade crossbows? I wonder. Dragon. Oh, there you are. Hi, dragon. Hi. How are you? No. Nah. 
running around at the speed of sound. Got no place to go, got to follow my rainbow. Made inside. Oh my gosh, I'm just worried about all these things. Come on. There we go. Oh, come on, that should have killed you. Half moon grass. Stab you in the gut, and well, you guys are not even bad. Soldier's Lotus, which is nice for when I go back to the other area. Three's, yeah, three crescent uh, moon grasses. This is why I come to this area, because honestly, it's so much stuff. I'm gonna have to have the dragon come up and burn it all for me. Dragon. Dragon. Please. Nom. That tracked you? Okay, come on, dragon. Oh, that's. That's a good feeling. I can start right here, and I'll be fine. It is a long way, though. No, I didn't mean to... I'm dead. I'm dead. Ow! I, I could have died. <laughs> I really could have died. I'm lucky I re-equipped that stupid, uh, ring. Oh, without that ring, I would have died right there for sure. There's not even a question in it. I even got some bolts out of this, which is nice. That's why I'm not even fighting the one monster thing in the basement of the, uh, uh, prison. I keep wanting to call it a mental hospital because all the people there are crazy. Can I stab the guy in the back first? Whatever. It's fine, I guess. I'm still loving the Hydra Operate, though. Honestly, that was probably my favorite decision I've made in this series so far. Upping my Hydra Operate. Dragon. So it doesn't burn this stuff over here. So I don't really have to worry about that. What I do have to worry about is when it comes around. You! Mm. So much wasted healing items. Come on! You're not even burning right here! And I guess you do start burning right there. Oh, come on. Me being ranged might have killed me. Nope, not quite dead. <laughs> I'm dead. After all that, I died because this guy was annoying and I got shot by archers. Okay, let's try that once more so I can actually get to the boss. Not as powerful as I thought.
All right, and they're all dead. This it was not difficult this time because I just went in smart and got, like kept my stamina up and stuff. Okay. Unless I'm really stupid about this and get myself killed. I'm going to regret ever opening my mouth if I were to do that. Now let's see how much the Tower Knight whips me. Well, once I make sure that there's nothing hidden here. Can I open this door? It appears to be locked. Wait, if I beat the Tower Knight, do I get the keys to the entire place to open all the doors I've never been able to open? Because if so, I would love that. Enter the fog and see this monster a second time. Bye! <laughs> Not happening. He didn't kill me this time. Well, almost kill me this time. Then again, I had my shield up. Did he just... Oh! Okay. That's dangerous. What can I see from here? Do you see what I see? Three in the left and the right. If if I didn't have the archers, this probably wouldn't be as big of a problem. So let's see if I can take care of that. And I wasn't even facing the right direction there. You know what? Screw it. That's not going to work out. Let's check out what my items do before I do anything. Do I have anything that would work well? Ow? Was it up here? Or was I just in range of those guys? I think I was just in range of those guys. Man, this guy is pissed. Now, back to what I was doing, fresh spice, old spice, wait, I just got that, that's awesome. Um... Honestly, I don't know what to do here. Because I don't think I can take him down. Not all by my lonesome. But I can go over there. Okay. I don't stand by that. I'm getting out of range of that. Instead, I'm going to take down these archers. Without nothing. Yeah. I'd rather take that archer bolt than that giant tower knight's shot. Okay, you jump backwards for some reason. Thank you for giving me the breathing room. I guess you just want a better view of me. White moon grass. Too bad the angle is with me, not with you. I kind of wish I could insta-kill these guys. If I could, then I feel like I'd be able to take the knight. Well, he doesn't insta-kill me anymore. He only deals like half the damage he did before. <sighs> Get myself back up to full health, and I'm heading down there, and I'm hoping I can take him. If not, then, well, what am I going to do, right? One of my friends did give me one advice. 
Never to get around him when he looks like he's about to crush you. Okay, so he's going to raise his shield up and do that bash attack. That's what they were talking about. They said that that's the most dangerous thing he could do. Ow! Can I just leave? I cannot. I don't know why I thought I could. Dodged, yeah. Maybe... Yeah, ow. Okay, so if you roll right as he does that attack, that's not a problem. I kinda wish I had magic at this point in the game. Ow. Ow! Yeah, now I see what they were talking about. Timing. Come on. It looks like I'm doing something when I'm doing this. Might just be only looks like, but. I kind of wish I had more healing items now. Let's cut open his leg a bit more. Oh, ow. And he fell on me. Though I suppose this is my chance, right? Aha, is this our chance? Okay. I'm gonna guess he's gonna get a bunch of new attacks. Or at least attacks that are slightly different. Yeah, maybe that's the attack that they were warning me about. Maybe they were just warning about every attack that crushes me. Oh, did I get you to fall again? Come 
Come on, Goliath. Fall. Come on, I almost have you. Might be my last opportunity. Oh my gosh, guys, I got him! The demon was destroyed. You shall obtain the demon soul in a power that is beyond human imagination. You revived. You regained your body. Bring more souls, slayer of demons. And we got an art stone all the way up here. 8,500 souls! Guys, next time on Let's Play Demon Souls, we're going to be moving on. I don't know if we're heading to the next area in this area, or if we're moving on in that other area. But either way, I, that feels good. Good! I'm gonna head back, I'm gonna level up, I'll see you guys later. The Iron Demon's Soul. Ah, man, that feels good.